hello welcome back to plans on planning here we are in my social planner and we have a blank canvas because we need to prep for christmas week like the actual time is here now granted just like most of you i will be on vacation so there's really not much that I'll have to physically do because I will have made sure all of that is done and taken care of before I leave. But there are some things that, you know, we just need to make sure are running smoothly, basically. So it's not like physically demanding because, you know, we're on vacation. So we want to make vacation as easy as possible. Even though my grandmother doesn't believe in vacation and doesn't believe in like taking days off. So like while I'm at her house, she'll have a nice list of things for me to do and I have to constantly remind her that I'm on vacation like I did not come here to put in extra work and she's like okay but while you're not putting in extra work go to the store and get this for me and while you're not putting in extra work make sure this gets done so vacation doesn't exist um don't go to my grandmother's house looking for vacation days because you won't get them there. Uh, so I'm doubling up, but I'm trying to also line it up. Bam. There we go. All right. I got it nicely lined up. Ha, ha, ha. How you like me now, boo? Yeah. All right. And let's do this one. So, like I said, I won't have a lot of work to do um, that this planner will, you know, usually operates under. But it's more like checking and making sure that what I set up to be done automatically is actually getting done. So it's making sure, you know, everything's going out the right days, the right times, all that wonderful stuff. That's what I'm going to be focused on this week or Christmas week that we're working on now. That I didn't mess anything up. I remember when I first started um, making sure things were done in automation. I was, because you know, like when you automate things, you set the time, the day and the time that you want it to happen, and it'll do it, like, so you set something for every Monday at 11 o'clock, so every Monday at 11 o'clock, bam, it'll happen. What I was doing is like, yeah, I was setting up for Monday at 11 o'clock, but I forgot to adjust it from a.m. to p.m., so it was a lot of trial and error, so here I am checking Monday, 11 a.m., I'm wondering why, you know, something didn't post. And I'm like, what the heck? Maybe I did it wrong. Like, you know, this is my first time. I thought maybe I didn't read the directions correctly. Yeah, turns out I forgot to put it the right time of day. So then, luckily you did catch it in time where you can send it out at like maybe 12 or 1 o'clock. So it's not the worst. But from that point on, trust, I never made that mistake again. So. That's what we're going to be doing. Making sure Monday 11 o'clock is Monday 11 a.m., not p.m. Nobody cares about 11 p.m. Yeah, setting up reminders, reminder emails to go out, making sure everything posts to, like, Instagram correctly. All that has to be done. So this week is going to be, like, checking up to make sure what I did automate, I automate it correctly. Because between running to the grocery store, decorating the Christmas tree, and making sure, you know, I don't burn the food. <laughs> yeah, because I gotta cook too. I'm usually on Christmas dinner. I do help out with breakfast. My mom's really the breakfast cooker, you know, while we're at my grandparents' house. But I do help out, you know, I may uh, cook some bacon, scramble some eggs. Uh, you know what we should do? Put some biscuits, we should get some biscuits. That's what we need. 
put some biscuits in the oven. Oh yeah. Biscuits. That would be awesome. Maybe I should bring that up. We don't need biscuits. I would even love to make biscuits. Hmm. There's no time like the present. Some biscuits made from scratch. What? Oh, I got it. I got an idea, people. Yeah, but who has the time to wake up and make biscuits? That's probably why I never made them. Plus, we don't have counter space. Oh, no counter space. I think we should make biscuits anyway. And cookies. They love to eat brownies. Oh my gosh, while we're there. That's like our dessert. I'm kind of over brownies, to be honest. I mean, don't tell them. Please do not tell these people that I'm over brownies. But I am kind of over brownies. I'm just being honest. I'm a little over it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, because we, like, every time we're together, we have brownies. It's like, you can suggest that we have something else. So it's like, I suggested that we have cake. Like, oh, let's have cake. Like, let's bake a cake. Because somebody's birthday was somebody's birthday. And I'm like, let's bake a cake to celebrate the birthday. And they were like, oh, yeah, that'd be great. Let's bake a cake. So I, here I am, like, making the cake. And they're like, when are you going to start the brownies? And I was like, oh, so close. <laughs> that's, that's how it felt. I was like, I was so freaking close to not having to make brownies. Like, I'm dead serious. I know you may not believe me. Like, who asks for brownies when you have a cake being baked? But I promise, I was... Almost finished with the cake. Oh, even better. Some people wanted um, vanilla cake. Some people wanted chocolate cake. And it was like they couldn't come to an agreement. 100% could not come to an agreement about, you know, should it be vanilla, should it be chocolate. So they just decided that I should make both. Not them. Not like somebody's going to be in the kitchen, somebody's going to help me. Nope. They decided that I personally should make both a vanilla cake and a chocolate cake. And then, after I finally finished uh, both the vanilla and the chocolate cake. And please understand, you know, nothing against my grandparents, but they don't have an electric mixer. So I had to make um, a vanilla cake and a chocolate cake by hand. You know, mixing it by hand, which is really not the easiest thing in the world because they don't have a great set of spatulas either, to be honest. So, you know, difficult is uh, the name of the game right now. But after mixing the batter for a chocolate cake, mixing the batter for a vanilla cake, I then was asked how long uh, before I get started on the brownies. And I was just like, floored, to say the least. Like, are you kidding me right now? And like, it was with a dead serious face. Like, when are you going to get started on the brownies? So here we had this like huge sheet pan. Uh, half, like think of it like this. You have a huge cake. Half of it is chocolate. Half of it is vanilla. And I was able to like fit it all in one pan. I had to pour it like really slowly. So it just like perfectly meshed, you know, in the middle. And then they're like, all right, so, um, you know, when are you going to get started on the brownies? And I was like, you guys have got to be kidding me. And then they used my wonderful um, hashtags against me that I use on my um, personal um, Instagram page, which is... I love to cook. Food is my passion. I promise you, I have not used those hashtags since. And I was like, what? You want me to bake brownies? 
It was like, yeah, miss, I love to cook. Food is my passion. Where the brownies at? I was like, <laughs> you can't be serious. They were very serious. So, I made brownies, by the way. The brownies did get made. Yeah. But, in telling my lovely tale, we are finished. So, this is what we have going into, or in, Christmas. This is Christmas, so we're slaying in the Christmas, sliding on in the Christmas. This is what we have for our Christmas week spread. Like I said, it's going to be a very simple, easygoing week. So I wanted to do a very simple and easygoing spread. Um, it's just a lot of checks and balances, basically, this week to make sure that everything I did think of actually is being executed so i thank you ever so much for joining me if you have any questions comments concerns feel free to drop a little message below if you feel more comfortable emailing me you know go right ahead and send me an email i'll definitely get back to you don't forget to follow me on social media when you hit the follow hit send a message let me know you saw the video. Tell me, you know, hey, where'd you get that from? Where'd you get those stickers from? Where'd you get that washi from? We can talk about it all. If you just want to say, hey, um, what are you doing later? Let's talk about that too. Like, hey, what are you doing later? What's going on with you? Huh? What's going on? I saw your page. It's kind of, kind of hot. Whatever the case may be, it can be weird and awkward. Um, but I do thank you ever so much for joining me. I had a wonderful time talking to you about my crazy family who basically loves desserts or just loves seeing me in the kitchen. I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know what's up with those guys. But I do thank you so much for listening to me carry on about foolishness. Um, and, you know, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And I will talk to you later days.